Shabbat Shalom, family in the Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. I'll be reading on this Shabbat day from the book of 1 John chapter 3, starting at verse 4. I'll be reading for, from the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. And I read, Whosoever Whosoever, that's man, woman, black, white, Jew, Gentile, Yahudim, or Goyim. Whosoever commits, commits sin. Commit means to practice sin, to cultivate a lifestyle of sin. Whosoever commits sin transgresses or violates also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Verse 5, and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abides in him sins not. Whosoever sins had not seen him, never known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of the devil. For the devil sins from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of Yahweh was revealed. They might destroy the works of the devil. Whoso is born of Yahweh does not commit sin. For the seed remains in him. And he cannot sin because he's born of Yahweh. I read that to say this. If you have been reconciled into Yahweh. If you have taken on the nature and spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach. If you had repented of your sins and was baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, as evidenced by speaking in another tongue, as Yahweh permits you to speak, you will not, you will not cultivate a lifestyle of transgressing Yahweh's word. If you were born again, if you were born of Yahweh, you're, if you're reconciled to Yahweh, you have taken on the nature and spirit of the second Adam, Yeshua of Nazareth. You will not practice sin. Because in being reconciled to Yahweh, you're giving a quickened nature, a nature that is now awakened to the presence of Yahweh, the person of Yahweh. You are now given a spirit that has now joined or is now in communion with Yahweh for that cause. It's impossible for you to practice sin without Yahweh dealing with you, reproving, rebuking you concerning the way of transgressing Yahweh's word. So it's impossible for those who have been born of Yahweh to practice sin, to cultivate a lifestyle of sin. If after being born of Yahweh, you do renounce, reject Yahweh after being born again, it's impossible to be, be restored. Because once you've been born again, has received a quickened nature in word of baptism, has received the baptism of the Holy Spirit that seals you into Yahweh, and then you turn from Yahweh after being born again, you commit the sin of blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. As it's written in Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6. And starting at verse 4. For it is impossible for those who are once enlightened and have tasted of the gift from Shami'in and were made partake of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of Yahweh and the power of the word to come, if they shall fall away, to renew them again to repent, seeing that they denounce the sacrifice of Yeshua HaMashiach and put them to an open shame. 
So if you are born again, if you had repented of your sins, were baptized in the name of Yeshua, I'm sure, received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and you persist and you continue to live in sin, you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. Therefore, it, it becomes impossible for you to come back to Yahweh. Why? You have been given over to a rapid mind. You have been given over to a strong delusion. Why? Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. And verse 10. And with all the seawolveness of unrighteousness of, them, of, of unrighteousness of them in Paris, who, because they received not the love of the truth, they might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong illusion, that they might be, that they should be believe alive, that they all might be damned, who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Therefore, you, you, you're given over to a rapid mind. You're given over to a strong delusion that you may be damned because you rejected the way of truth. Once a person becomes reconciled to Yahweh, reconciled unto the truth, and then turned from the truth of Yahweh back unto tr the life of transgression, Yahweh's word, it's impossible for you to come back. Because Yahweh... Because that signifies a, re a rejection of the word truth and a delighting in the transgression of the truth. Thus, you become a vessel fitted for the lake of fire, fitted for destruction. So, do not if it once once you are born again, do not turn from the way of truth. Because if you turn from the way of truth after being born again, after being reconciled to Yahweh, it's impossible for you to come back. It's impossible for you to come back because look, once you turn from the way of reconciliation, that that signifies that you hate Yahweh and that you have rejected Yahweh and that you too have chosen to delight in the way of error, the way of transgressing Yahweh's word. So a person who is born of Yahweh cannot cultivate a lifestyle of sin. Because those who practice sin, who cultivate a life, a pattern and practice of sin, of transgressing Yahweh's word, they, they testify that they hate Yahweh, that they have rejected the will of Yahweh. If you live in transgression of Yahweh's word, you are saying to Yahweh, you hate him and you reject his will and his way. And that you're walking in blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. That is written in Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13 and verse Matthew chapter 12 verse 31 Wherefore I say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven to men but the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven to men and whosoever speaks the word against the Son of Man it shall be forgiven him but whosoever speaks against the Holy Ghost it shall not be forgiven him not in this world not in the world to come so if you're living in transgressing Yahweh's word and sin is the transgression, the violation of Yahweh's word, you're living a life of blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Those who are pre-converts yet live in blasphemy of Yahweh's word, you can be forgiven. But the moment you have been reconciled to Yahweh, through the new birth according to Acts 38. And then after you've been reconciled to Yahweh, you turn from the way of reconciliation to, conti to continue in the life of transgressing Yahweh's word. 
that willful blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, and thus you become ineligible to be redeemed, ineligible to be saved, ineligible to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come. I implore you, I beseech you by the mercy of Yahweh, by the mercy of my King, Yeshua HaMashiach, and his favor, that if you become reconciled to Yahweh by repentance and water baptism, name Yeshua HaMashiach, and the infilling of the baptism of the Holy Spirit according to Acts 2 4, that you walk faithful, walk in reverence and respect of Yahweh, not seeking to return to the life of sin, lest you become guilty of willful blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. And those who are guilty of willful blasphemy of the Holy Ghost, they're destined for eternal torment. They become vessels fitted for the flame of hell. Do, if you're born again, do not turn from the way of Yahweh. Do not turn from the way of Yahweh. You hold firm to the will, word of Yahweh. For the fearful thing that falls in the hands of the, of the living of hell, Yahweh. The conclusion of the whole matter is this. And Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 13. Woe unto him that's faint heart, for he believes not. Um, therefore shall he not be defended. Verse 12. Woe be the fearful heart and faint hand, and the sinner that goes two ways. The sinner goes, the one way he go is away from Yahweh. And the other way the sinner goes is towards transgression of Yahweh's word. Do not, if you're born again, do not seek a return to transgressing Yahweh's word. Because after being born again, after being reconciled to Yahweh, if you return back to transgressing Yahweh's word, that is willful blaspheming the Holy Ghost. That's willful blaspheming the Holy Ghost, and you cannot be pardoned for that. You cannot be restored back to Yahweh, and you will be eligible. For the lake of fire, burning with fire and brimstone. I pray Yahweh that his fear be put upon the hearers of this message and all messages that Yahweh have inspired me to speak forth on this channel. I give him the glory, honor, and praise. In the name of the beloved Son, Yeshua HaMessiah, so be it. So be it. Shalom.